The lot is called. What the hell? Uh, the dog is driving out of my mind. That's the, that's the name of this book. I, look, Father's Day is coming up. Will somebody buy me an iPad? I got to get out of here. I can't work like this. I cannot concentrate. Can you concentrate with this? Can you? Can you? What am I supposed to do? I, I need an office. I got to get out of here. Somebody give me an office. I have to go work at your office. Preferably a hop log with very large breasts and great legs. That's, if you're only a hot blonde with large, who cares about the office? Just take me to your house. I can't take it anymore. All right, now here's the deal. This is why I went away this past weekend to this cottage. Cottage. What's a cottage? I want to tell you about cottage. Cottage life, cottage. That's what I put on my cremettes. Cremettes. My aunt asks me to me cremettes. You know what cremettes are? You don't know what cremettes are. I have cottage cheese and noodles. That's what I have, cottage. When I first came to Toronto, Every Jew said to me, oh, you want to go to my cottage? I have a cottage. Let's go to the cottage. I'll, you see my cottage? I got a big cottage. Go to my cottage. cottage. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Every Jew. Yes, every Jew Only has a cottage. Jews. Only Jews have cottages. <laughs> <laughs> Except this weekend, my Gentile friend had a cottage. <laughs> what are you laughing at? It's the purpose of this blog. Talk about Jews. In fact, I came back. Who cares? Anyway, so I... Um... <laughs> what are you laughing at? my best audience. You're, you're cutting yourself off. Uh... <laughs> I, every Jew said to me, come to my cottage, I have a cottage. I don't know what they're talking about. A cottage to me is what Goldilocks and the Three Bears had. They have a cottage. It's a little picket fence with a little house, and you, and you get the porridge in a bowl. That's what I expect. I mean, why the hell do Jews want to give me porridge in a bowl? I go see, go see Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I never thought they were talking about. Well, I've been to these cottages. Here's what a cottage is. A cottage is a, another house for a rich Jew to brag about. That's what a cottage is. It's a, it's a house that every Jew has to outdo the other Jew. Come to my cottage, my cottage. They have a house in Toronto. 5,000, 10,000 square feet house. But the house in Toronto is not good enough. They have to build another house in the woods somewhere where the bears and the mosquitoes are. They got to build a house there so they can come see their cottage. It's another 10,000 square foot house. And they're all arguing and complaining and they're suing each other. They build another house in the country so they can brag to each other, look at my cottage, and then sue each other. One Jew sue another Jew. Well, I have a bigger cottage than you, but you're over on the property, so I gotta sue you, and I have a gate here, and you can't get through my gate because it's my cottage. They just build bigger, bigger cottages. Nothing makes any sense to me. What is the purpose of these cottages? Who the hell wants to go into the, into the woods with bears and mosquitoes? Is, is that a, a vacation to you? I went to a cottage this weekend. Beautiful cottage. Beautiful cottage. It has a lake. A lake of mosquitoes. That's all a cottage is. A lake of mosquitoes and rich Jews. If you want to go to cottages, that's all you see. I'm telling you, I've been to many cottages. They all have boats. Did you ever see a Jew in a boat? No, but they have the biggest boat. Some they had some as, as big as the Titanic. They got boats sitting out there in the lake. Oh, come look at my boat. Did you ever go on the boat? No, but you gotta go see my boat. They have they have boats and cottages. Gigantic. Gigantic, gigantic houses in the woods. They knock down all the trees. They put a big house in the woods so they can brag to their other friends, come look at my cottage. I want to tell you something. And this blog has nothing to do with envy or jealousy or anything, because I'm not envious or jealous. Anymore. Maybe envious, but not jealousy of anything. Like, what is jealousy? Jealousy is, I think, oh, look, he has that fancy car. Why does he have it? I should have it. I think that's jealousy. I think. Envy is, oh, look at that car. Oh, I'd love to have a car like that. That guy is so lucky he has that car. Boy, that's going to motivate me to get a car like that. That's how I think. I'm thrilled that my rich friends are rich because their wealth gives me the motivation to get what they got. And all you need is cash. All you need is cash, and it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Now, many of my wife's friends have safety nets. Many of my wife's friends have, I don't want to say were born with silver spoons in their mouth, but they were born with silver spoons in their mouth. And they're... Their parents, who grew up in the Depression with nothing, built empires. I, I've had many conversations with them. I don't know how they did it because they had such adversity. But through adversity, you fight, you fight, you fight because you want it. And the Jews should have these gigantic uh, uh, cottages and mansions and cars because we were so downtrodden after all these years. Nobody would give Jews jobs. They wouldn't let them in colleges. They used to have signs on golf courses. No Jews and dogs allowed. So the Jews fought, 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 fought. My friend Mendy, who just passed away, told me they had to fight to get anything. All the Jews had to fight. Not only in Toronto and Philly, United States, that's the way it was. So the fact that all the years they fought, they fought, they fought. Now people say, oh, the Jews own all the banks, they own Hollywood. Well, if it's true, but the reason they own all of Hollywood, who knows? All, and, and it's because we had to fight through adversity to have what we have. And the Andrea's friends' parents were lucky enough to, lucky, they fought hard to get the wealth and build the empire so they could bestow it upon their children, who now... They buy them houses, they buy them cars, they, they pay for their cell phones, they pay for the kids' camp, they pay for the kids' private schools. 
they pay for all this stuff so the children not fight, but, you know, to, to go to university and all that stuff. So Andrea's friends are very lucky. They have safety nets where David Bronstein does not have a safety net. I had a great time growing up and I had everything growing up. My father used to say, Dave, you have more than a rich man's son. And it's true, I had everything. But now with my beautiful family, there is no safety net. I either sink or swim. There's nobody I can go to to pay Jared's cell phone bill or to pay Lauren's at college or to pay uh, uh, the car or, or, or go on vacations. Or they all, there's no, It's all me. So if I don't buy the cottage, I ain't got the cottage. If I don't buy a condo in Florida, I ain't got the condo. We're all Andrea's friends. They, on December, they went to Florida to the condo. It's, their, it's Andrea's friend's parents' condo. Or it's Andrea's friend's parents' cottage that they go to. And some of them also uh, created great wealth on their own. Some are self-made and some built their own cottages. But here's the crazy part. I can understand maybe in the 50s, 60s, the parents came here and they, 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 they fought. They fought and they built empires and they bought cottages because every other Jew bought a cottage for whatever reason, which I don't get. But if the younger generation is successful enough on their own, they become doctors, lawyers, business people, entrepreneurs, and they build empires. Why are they building cottages? That's the part. Why are they buying boats and building cottages? And well, they like that. They, what is there to like? I just came back from the cottage. It took me six hours to get to the cottage. Who the hell wants to drive six hours to go to the cottage? And then I left at 12.30. Then we had to go to our girlfriend's house because we had to get the hot dogs and the hamburgers and, and, the, and the prune juice. I don't know what the bags and bags we got to bring up to the cottage. Now why? It's already in the house. All the food and, the, and everything is in the condo in Toronto, 20 minutes away. Why are we taking it out of the condo into the car to bring it to another house? I'm six hours away. What is the purpose of that? Then we drive to meet the, the girlfriend's boyfriend. Then from there, we're driving to the car, but we've got to stop at a hardware store. Six hours. Now, now, Andrew's friends tell me it really takes two hours and 20 minutes. Except when I go. When I go, it's six hours. We left at 12.30, got there at 6 o'clock. And we get to the cottage. Oh, such a beautiful cottage. It was very nice. It's a house. It's a nice big house. A rustic house. Very, very nice. My friend said he didn't want to have a house like he has in Toronto because everyone else has a house like that. So he wanted to have more rustic because it's the cottage. It's the country with the bears and the mosquitoes. This place was so far, not even the bears knew where the hell this place was. That's how far. You're driving on these narrow roads with the trees and the grass. It's like the, the haunted forest and the Wizard of Oz. You have these trees and a little narrow road. And I see farmland, 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 farmland. I'm back in the Wizard of Oz. That's all I saw. I, I said, hey, you wouldn't make it to Kansas. All I saw was farmland and, and a little narrow road. You're driving, you're driving, you're driving, you're driving. And then you go down another road, you're driving. Six, we get there. At 6 o'clock, my friends were afraid to go out at night because of the mosquitoes. Well, who the hell wants to go to a place like that? If you said to me, hey, Dave, you want to come up to my cottage? It's only six hours. Wait till you see the mosquitoes. Would you want to do that? So I'm looking out there, and it's a beautiful lake. The lake is so beautiful, beautiful lake. And my friend bought this property, this cottage, wherever it is, because across the lake, that there's no other, um, not condos, there's no other cottages. across. It's all land. And he said all the land there was bestowed upon the children Three decades ago, in the 1800s, yeah, decades, in the 1800s, that it was originally, no, not decades ago, three generations ago of families. It was originally bought in 1880, and the family up till now still has not sold it. So when you look out, you see this lake, and there's a commercial for the lottery where another schmuck wins a lottery and buys a cottage. <laughs> the lottery winner buys a cottage! Everything, what am I telling you? The Canadians love cottages with the bears and the mosquitoes. I love cottages with macaroni. <laughs> Cottage cheese and macaroni. That's it for me. The schmuck wins the lottery in the commercial. And what does he say? Let's go buy a cottage. Why? It's loaded with mosquitoes. I had to have punks when I was a kid. And Lori calls it incense now. I called it punks. My father bought me punks to keep the mosquitoes away. But I didn't live in a cottage. I lived in the city in Philadelphia. We still had some mosquitoes. But not like at, at, uh, at this cottage. They're flying all around. They're in my bedroom. They're in the, the bathroom. They're in the house. Mosquitoes, mosquitoes. So much so my friends are afraid to go out. Oh, too many mosquitoes. I'm sitting there like a schmuck on the, um, not in the docks. Andrew's in the dock and they had a boat and they had skidoos. And I went in the water, running around all over the water. And I'm sitting there reading my little gambling books and I have a, um, a punk. I have a punk in one hand to, to keep the mosquitoes away. Then you got to put off. You got to put off, 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 off that mosquito repellent. Off, off, like the guy in the commercial. I put his hand in that aquarium with all the mosquitoes flying all over. I'm that guy. I got off, all off. Do you think I want to spray chemicals all over my body? And he said, hey, Dave, what do you want to do this weekend? You think I said, let's drive six hours so I can spray my body with off all day so I can stand like a sh schmuck with a bunch of mosquitoes waiting for a bear. Do you think I would say that? Because that's where all the bears go. Every time you hear, this one got attacked by a bear, this one got attacked, it's in the newspaper. This one got attacked by a bear, ate by the bear, attacked by the bear. 
So you know what you do? You don't go where the bears are. You know where the bears are? In the cottages. That's where the bears are. It's all country. I just don't get it. I love it. And it doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, I went, uh, yeah, it's relaxing. Very, very relaxing. But so is Las Vegas relaxing to me. So is Niagara Falls. So is going to a mall. So is doing these blogs while the dog's barking, driving me out of my mind. Uh, uh, in uh, Vegas, the officers that die, yeah. apparently the people were methods. All right. So. so what I'm saying to you is, it, I went, for, it was my envious girlfriend's birthday. And I like them very, very much. And they're very accommodating and all that stuff. But for David Bronson to relax, a cottage is not the place for me. The country. I am Eddie Albert. No, <laughs> I'm Eva Kabor, and I'm not Eddie Albert. Eddie Albert loves the country life, wants to be a farmer in Green Acres. Give me Park Avenue. That's where I'm going. I'm a city boy. That's right. doesn't make any sense. I don't care how much money I have. I ain't buying a cottage, and I'm not going to any more cottages. Do not invite me to your cottages with the mosquitoes. Unless your cottage is in Las Vegas on the Strip. Unless your cottage is in Niagara Falls next to the casino. There is no reason. It doesn't make sense. And meanwhile, at the cottage, we were running out of toilet paper. Running out of toilet paper. I said, we need more toilet paper. I said, can we go out and get toilet paper? Oh, it's a 20-minute drive. You have to drive 20 minutes into town to buy the toilet paper. Does anything make any sense to you? No. Not only that, we kept running out of water. Why would we run out of water? Well, because they have wells. They have wells at the cottage. They don't have city water or they come, you know, you turn on the tap, the water comes out. Not, not in the cottages. They all have wells. So the water has to come under the ground into the well, then into the, into the sink. So after I flush the toilet, you got to wait 20 hours for more water to come in before you go to the bathroom. Everyone is stuffed up there. You couldn't use the bathroom. You can't wash the sink because the water. You think this is relaxing to me? Nobody said this to me. Nobody said to me, Dave, we're going to have a ball this weekend. We're going to run out of water, so if you have to go to the bathroom, you have to hold it in. And the mosquito's going to come eat you up and wait for a bear. <laughs> Nobody said this to me, because that's what cottage life is. But the Jews, I can't wait to go to the cottage. Not only that, six hours that they told me is two hours and 20 minutes. Other Jews tell me, oh, my, they have to brag how far their cottage is. Oh, my cottage is three hours away. My cottage is five. Not only that, do they brag how big their cottages are, they brag how much farther their cottages are. Is that a good thing to brag about? Not only that, you sit in traffic. Everybody's coming home at the same time. They all leave at 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, they got to go to work on Monday. So they leave Friday, you're sitting in traffic in a parking lot, and you're coming back sitting in traffic in a parking lot. How can this be fun? How can this be relaxing? Then you have cabin fever, because we were in the house the whole time. I like to get out of the house to be a shelter for the rain, for the snow. But staying in the cabin, I got there at 6 o'clock on Friday. I like to go out to dinner. I like to meet people. I like to socialize. I like to go shopping. I like to see a little shop. Whatever I go, I like to go and do things. We sat in the house all day Friday night. All day Saturday, we're in the house. I outside by the pool, by the pool. Then we have dinner. I watch a movie, play the game. Sunday, I get up. I'm in the house. I'm in the... I, I gotta get out of the house! This cottage is not for me. And I want to tell you why. Then I'll leave you alone. When I go on vacation, I like staying in hotels. And a lot of comedians and entertainers, that's their whole life is hotels, hotels, hotels. I like hotels. It's a vacation. I like to be catered to. I like to be pampered. I like my, my bed to be made, not by me. I like to I get up, I go, I go, I come back, the bed's made. I like that. At this cottage, Andrea's doing the dishes. We eat, and she's washing the dishes. She's making the bed. So what kind of vacation is this? This is not a vacation. It's like being at home somebody else's house. Many of my friends say, oh, come stay at my house. Come stay at my house. I don't want to stay in your house because I want to live in your house like I live in my house, like a shit house. I don't pick up after myself. I don't even take the dishes from my own table and move it to the sink. Why would I take the dishes from your table and move it to the sink? Well, I'm a guest at your house, so I'll stay in a hotel. Because when I stay in a hotel and I stay in a restaurant, I don't have to do anything. I, I, I check in, I go to sleep, I watch television, I relax, I get up. The maid cleans the room. I go to a restaurant, the waiter serves me. I like that. That's what I want to do. So if, if for every reason Jared stops whistling so I can finish this blog, then when I want to go to a cottage, I'm staying in a hotel. I don't want to stay at any of my friends, which I never go to a cottage anyway again. But if I ever choose, who knows why? Because another Jew has to show me his big, gigantic cottage. I'm not staying there. I'm staying at a hotel. Because it's very relaxing where there's drug stores and department stores. And if I need a half a gallon of milk, when I grew up in Philadelphia, I can walk over to get a half a gallon of milk. There's a place here called Post Road and, um, and uh, the Bridal Path. The homes there are, are 20,000 square feet, $14 million homes. I know one guy that's worth $100 million, lives in the bridal path, lives in a post road. Another guy owns a hotel, lives in a, the, uh, the, uh, Prince, the, the, the guys on Shark Tank, live in the bridal. Beautiful. The homes look like hotels. It's a beautiful, beautiful area. But Andrea says she would not want to live there. And so, well, of course, Andrea's going to live there because she doesn't have $14 million to live in a 20,000 square foot house. 
That is not why. If I really wanted to live in a 20,000 square foot house, and I, I, the house I've, I've shot in Las Vegas, my crazy shows, is about 18,000 square feet that I produce my shows in my crazy shows. I never saw a house as big as that before. But a house that big, like Andrea said, she'd be afraid to live in that house. Because when you live in a house like that, you become a target. And it's unfortunate that that's the way it is. She said, well, you said, well, you have security. You have cameras. You have security guards. What are you, the president? You, you got to live. Who wants to live like that? Well, celebrities, I guess, live like that. And Beverly Hills and Bel Air, they have security and guards. And it's a crazy way to live. But not only that, in these areas of post road and bridal path, which is beautiful, you can't walk outside to get a half gallon of milk. You can't walk outside to get motion when the kids have an earache. They can't get the dog food. Can't get Q-tips. You got to drive. You got to get your car and drive down the road and drive down the road. And drive. If, if I, I can walk to the store now from my house, to the, maybe it'll take me uh, 10, uh, 10 minutes to walk to the store. You got to get out of the house. Maybe five minutes to walk to the store, to the, to the shopping center. I like that. I grew up like that, that I can walk anywhere and get whatever I need. But living in these small, not small, these areas where you have to drive somewhere, I don't like that. I don't want that. I, I don't want it. And besides, can you imagine the property taxes you got to pay on a house like that? It's one thing if I come, I hit the lottery, I buy a $15 million home. Is that where it stops there? Or the, the cost and fees? Because my friend here that owns this uh, cottage is a builder. And he told me he built a $7 million, it's either a $7 million home, $11 million home, I can't remember. And he's been trying to sell it for three years. Trying to sell it for three years, nobody's buying it. Oh, people come in, they make offers, they can't get the mortgages, the offers will go through. He's, I think he told me he's spending $50,000 a month in expenses. 50000 Does anything make any sense to you? Fifty? I could not do it. I, I'm in the Today business. I produce a show today, get it on the air today. I got to make money today. To, to have a, a property up there waiting three years, $7 million, $50,000 a month. I, that doesn't make any sense. Stuff has to make sense to me. And what doesn't make sense are cottages with mosquitoes and bears and lakes with boats. It's not for me. The mosquitoes, and I just don't get it. I don't, and I appreciate Andrew's friends inviting us up. But how, I wouldn't have nothing to talk about if I didn't go up. So it was relaxing. I sat there. Andrew sat in the sunshine. I don't want the sunshine. It's bad for you. I sat reading my gambling notes, but I had to deal with the mosquitoes. Then I had to deal with the, no water in the toilet. Then I had to deal with the running out of toilet paper. Very relaxing. But I like, I love them very, very much. And I appreciate them inviting us up and giving me a reason to blog about all my complaining. But cottage life is not for me. I like hotels. I like to be pampered. When I go to Las Vegas, every weekend I would go to Niagara Falls, which I want to, but Andrew wants me to go out every Saturday night with her friends. I'd go to Niagara Falls Friday. Like people go to the cottage, I would go to Niagara Falls. I'd spend $100 a night or $150 a night in a hotel. You say, what are you out of your mind? If you spend $150, $150, $150, three nights, uh, three, four, fifty times four, um, if you go every weekend, $1,200 or so I would be spending, or $1,600, I could pay a mortgage. I could buy a house in Niagara Falls and pay a mortgage. But if I buy a house, how is that a vacation? If I buy a house in Niagara Falls, that's why you go to Niagara Falls, like, like having a cottage, but you go to the house. Well, I want to go from one house to the next house. Because in the next house, you still got to do the dishes, still got to do the wash. It's like being in a home. The whole point is to get away from the house. The whole point is being on vacation. And for me, David Bronstein, and for being on vacation, going to a hotel, you check in, you, you go out to eat all the time. Why do I want to leave my house here where we buy food and have a refrigerator and do the wash? To go to Niagara Falls, where I have a house, to buy food, where I have all the wash and we cook dinner. Uh, it, it, to me, it doesn't make any sense. If I'm going out of my house, I'm going on vacation. And going on vacation is staying in a hotel and going out to eat every night and, and going to shows and, and doing fun things. To me, that's getting away. Going from one house to the next house, where you, you got to make the bed, you got to do the dishes, you got to buy food, it, it, it is not a vacation to David Bronson. What's a vacation, David Bronstein, is DavesTVEmpire.com. At DavesTVEmpire.com, you can make all the money you want to go buy your own cottage and sit there all day with the mosquitoes and bears. So I want you to go to DavesTVEmpire.com. It's all about cash. With me, David Bronstein, cash is king. Cash, hun money is honey, like, like they said in the producers. Money is honey, Bloom. Money is honey. And money gets you a lot of great, wonderful things, like cottages. <laughs> Like boats of the water. I ain't going. I want you to go to Dave's TV Empire. Let's make the money together. Your money, you go buy a cottage. My money, I'm going to Niagara Falls every weekend and, and Las Vegas. Dave's TV Empire.com. Let's go make a lot of cash. Goodbye. I'm not going to any more cottages. Leave me alone with the cottages.